Hi and welcome to DancePlanet.tv uh, and a preview of this year's 180 L Style BDO World Trophy which starts on Friday the 30th of August at the King George's Hall in Blackburn. For all the info regarding tickets, scheduling uh, etc please follow the link provided. Uh, in this video I'm going to take a quick look at the ladies event of course won last year by Fallon Sherrock. Uh, this kicks off Saturday, 12 p.m. It'd be men, men's first round Friday, uh, women's first round starts Saturday, 12 p.m. Don't forget, if you can't make it, uh, you won't miss a dart as it's all live on Eurosport. Uh, in between all of the ladies' matches on Saturday, there will be a second round men's match slotted in between. Of course, we don't know who that's going to be yet. Um, the latest first round matches are played over the best of seven legs, so it's first to four. Uh, and what a start we've got. First up, Saturday, like I said, 12pm, uh, will be kicked off with number six seed Anastasia Dobromoslova. And she'll be up against uh, Sharon Prince. Uh, Anna, of course, a former winner uh, of this event uh, back in 2014. Uh, has lifted one ranking title so far this season uh, when she won the Slovak Masters uh, back in February. But a relatively quiet season uh, for Anastasia considering previous years, uh, but no doubt she will bring uh, that typical determination to the stage on Saturday, Saturday and she will have to. Uh, she's up against Sharon Prince, who will be no pushover. Uh, having won their last three meetings, she will go into this with plenty of confidence. Uh, Anastasia does lead the head-to-head 9-5 -head, uh, uh, and has beaten Sharon Prince in this event twice before. Uh, and I expect Anastasia, although in a tight affair, uh, to make that a hat-trick of wins in the World Trophy. Uh, next ladies' match, Saturday afternoon, we'll see an absolute legend of the game. Uh, number eight seed and 10 time world champion Trina Gulliver MBE up against rising star Casey Gallagher. Now Casey is one of those players who all those involved in the sport has really been tipping her up um, for big things over the last couple of years uh, and she's definitely going to have a big future in the sport. Uh, at her best and we've seen that before you can see why. Uh, she was last. She was runner up in last year's World Masters, so the credentials all will be well. The credentials are there for us all to see. Uh, Trina leads the head-to-head three-one, -head, but they haven't met since February two thousand and eighteen, and it's no secret Trina has struggled to find her best form of late. Well, Casey Gallagher, she's had a steady enough season, and we may see an upset in this one with the seed going out. Uh, third match, uh, third ladies match on Saturday afternoon will be Eileen, Eileen de Graaf and she'll be playing one of the qualifiers that's, that's going to come through on Thursday. The qualifiers for the men's and the ladies will be on Thursday. Uh, finals ladies match Saturday afternoon will be two of the game's form players. Uh, fifth seed Fallon Sherrick, the current world, uh, world trophy champion, clashes with the current world champion Mikuru Suzuki. Uh, Fallon is in great form right now uh, and even when she's playing in exhibition events she's really producing the goods and she will have to be to get past the Mercurial Mercuro, uh, who is in great form after recently lifting a Swedish Open title to add to the Dutch Open title uh, she won a month or so after winning this year's World Championships. She really does light up the stage. Uh, most people I've spoken to that follow a lot of BDO dance thinks uh, the winner of the title might come from this match, and who am I to argue? I can't split them, but I just can't wait to commentate uh, on this match. Uh, opening night, uh, opening match of Saturday night, excuse me, um, uh, of the night session, 6pm, again, Eurosport, will be number one seed Lisa Ashton, who takes on Corrine Hammond. Four-time world champion and three-time winner of this event, Ashton has picked up uh, a title this season, which was the Scottish Open in February, but did recently make the last 16 of a Challenge Tour event, which she's played a lot of. Uh, the head-to-head -head is in is 9-3 in favour uh, of Lisa, uh, but Corrine did win their last meeting um, this year in the semis of the German Masters, 
Uh, Corning went on to be crowned champion of that event after beating Lorraine Wynn Stanley in the final. Uh, Corning herself has also been playing on the Challenge Tour. Uh, so both of these ladies will come into this one sharp and match ready. Uh, you've just got to feel that the scoring power of Ashton just might be the difference in this one. Uh, Lisa, Lisa has played uh, Corrine in this event uh, victorious on both occasions and the bookies make her a big favourite which is no shock to make it a third. Uh, second match of the ladies first round Saturday evening session uh, we'll see Lorraine Winstanley uh, await one of the other uh, ladies qualifiers from Thursday. There's two qualifying spots available and it's uh, well, we don't know, of course, because I'm recording this well before the event. Um, but I'm sure the qualifiers will, you know, produce a few surprises. Uh, third ladies match on Saturday night is seven seed uh, Laura, Tur Laura Turner up against Paula Jacqueline. Uh, Laura picked up a second career title this season, winning the Isle of Man Open back in March. And is without doubt having her best ever season. Uh, Paula, she's won events herself. Uh, she won in Gibraltar and Northern Ireland a couple of, year, a couple of years ago. Is ever present now in qualifying uh, for the BDO Ladies Premier events. Uh, I don't think she's failed to qualify for one for about four or five years. Um, she's never been able to quite reproduce uh, that kind of form on TV and awaits her first win. Uh, this will be their ninth meeting and it's four apiece, so it couldn't be any closer. Uh, but I think Laura's newfound confidence must play a part in the result of this matchup. Right, final match of the ladies' first round. And what, and what a final game to wait for. This is Saturday night. Don't forget, live on Eurosport, the session starts at 6 p.m. And it's third seed, another legend, Dita Hedman. Um, and she will have a real tough clash against Maria O'Brien. Uh, the last match, of course, was um, at Lakeside. This will be their ninth meeting. Uh, Dita did win the uh, the first six, but OB has won their last two meetings, which I said, which one of them uh, was, of course, at Lakeside this year. Maria has had an amazing season so far. She has made at least the quarterfinal of every ranking event she has entered um, this year, uh, in this season. Uh, semis of the Worlds, uh, semis of the uh, Scottish Open, uh, quarters at the Slovak Masters and then five consecutive quarterfinals uh, in the next five ranking events she entered. Isle of Man, uh, two in Germany, uh, two in Wales. Uh, it's been just, just a hell of a season for her and she's going to come into this with so much confidence. Dieter herself has not been too shabby uh, winning the Police Masters, runner-up in the Isle of Man um, and Romania and semi-final appearances in Scotland and Wales. This one is a real coin flip and another exciting match. I can't wait again to commentate on that one. Uh, thank you for uh, watching and tuning in to our videos. As I said, tickets are available and only £25 for both sessions. Get involved, show your support. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel, uh, give us a thumbs up and hit that alert bell so you are notified when all of our new videos drops on YouTube. Take care.